At its source, the 10-year conflict in Sudan's Darfur region can be described as a competition for natural resources like water and arable land, turning neighbors into deadly foes. But now new programs built in part on past traditions aim to once again create a peaceful future. It's a rare sight in Sudan's Darfur region. Former enemies working together, sharing the same land and water. The conflict in Darfur is rooted in a fierce competition over natural resources between nomadic livestock herders and sedentary farmers. Droughts and shortage of grazing lands have repeatedly led to violent clashes between these groups. An estimated 300,000 people have died since fighting broke out in 2003. Yasir al Tagani and his family are among the estimated two million Darfuris displaced by the conflict. Seeking safety, they relocated far from their former home to this area in West Darfur. We left our village because it became dangerous. We had no security and no freedom to farm. When we arrived, some land was available. People welcomed us and let us settle here. But not everyone embraced these new arrivals. Abakar Adam is a local sheep herder. When the displaced people first arrived, we were bothered by them because we felt now we had to compete for resources. A competition exacerbated by climate change. As global temperatures rise, deserts overtake once green areas, forcing Darfur's displaced people to roam even further in search of fertile land to plant crops. But come harvest time, these precious crops are at risk of damage from the local nomads' herds grazing on land they have for ages. One such herd belonged to Abaka Adam. I was walking with the animals when a sheep got away and entered the farm. Tempers quickly flared when Yasir and his family ran out to confront Abakar Adam. Two sheep were killed and Yasir's younger brother was injured in the fight. Left unresolved, these disputes can rapidly spiral into deadly tribal clashes, displacing tens of thousands of people. But a new United Nations-led initiative seeks to fund and revive traditional mediation methods called Judea to resolve these types of disputes. Under Judea law, a group of elders act as impartial facilitators, guiding the quarreling parties towards a peacefully negotiated settlement. Othman Musa is chairman of this reconciliation committee, gathered together for our cameras. We solve problems by discussing them. We talk and laugh about it. We like to solve our problems ourselves because the farmer is a friend of the shepherd and the shepherd is a friend of the farmer. It has always been such. Abdul Sao is head of a United Nations civil affairs team working to establish peaceful coexistence across West Darfur. This crisis is a resource-based crisis. It's a crisis of water, it's a crisis of land. So as the herders and farmers examined the situation, they recognized their communities had many of the same needs. Access to water, access to land, and education for their children. The UN has helped make their wishes a reality, supporting schools like this, open to children of different ethnic backgrounds. Here, children of herders, farmers and displaced people attend classes together, building lasting friendships. We have to, to help to make this new society a peaceful one where there is a lasting peace. But Darfur is not there yet. 
Conflict continues despite the presence of one of the world's largest peacekeeping missions. For many, formal justice systems remain inaccessible in these remote areas, and many Darfuri still believe traditional mechanisms are better suited for the resolution of disputes. Judea is a peaceful solution. If we go see the police, it may cost us more. But with Judea, we can negotiate, reach an understanding, and solve our problems. And that's just what happened in the case of Mr. Adam and Mr. Altagani. After much deliberation, the parties came to a mutual agreement. Their communities now share the land and live together amicably. We reached reconciliation and we found a fair solution. We forgive him for the injury, and he has forgiven us for killing the sheep. I forgive them and we have moved on. The farmers have always been our friend. In addition to forgiving each other, the parties agreed to share the school and this water point provided by the UN peacekeeping mission in Darfur. Two communities, once divided by limited resources, now gather at this bustling meeting point to share and build a future together.